Hi, it's a Sync Drupal. Today we're going to continue migration topic. If you haven't seen previous video about migration, please watch it first. And after that, or if you have already seen it, you can continue watching this second part. Um, in this video, we will try to migrate some nodes and change some settings in configuration files for migration. Also, we will try to use default plugins for fields. So let's start. In our Drupal 7 and Drupal 8 installation, we have basic page content type and these content types have two different fields. In Drupal 7 it's a field news and in Drupal 8 it's events. So what do we need to do is to put values from field news into the field events. We need to add one additional configuration file for migration to our config staging folder. So let's go to the folder where we have generated all migration files, if you remember from previous video. In our case, it's TMP folder. Um, let's open this folder and try to find this file for content type basic page. Uh, this one, so copy this file and now we need to put it uh, to our config staging folder. Mm -hmm. Now let's open this file in our editor. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we see in this file? We see pretty same settings as in migration for users. Uh, you can also remind it from previous video, just with a bit different properties with field settings, because user entity and node entity um, are a bit different. Uh, first of all, let's check our current migration dependencies to another migration. Here it is. We have two required migrations, so it requires user migration, which we have already done in previous video, and migration for a node type. Um, I think we don't need this right now, as this content type already exists in our Drupal 8, so we just delete it and save file. Good. Um, yeah, all right, what else do we need? Uh, we have fields field news from Drupal 7, but as we remember in Drupal 8 it's field events. Uh, so how it works? Um, this property is field name to which data will be put in Drupal 8, and this property is field name from which data will be taken. So this shouldn't be touched, but this we should change to the field events. Mm -hmm. We have plugin iterator, which uh, works with multiple value fields and will synchronize all field values to new field. Uh, we need to use this plugin also for single value fields. And text field, as you remember, can have value and format properties like HTML filtration or HTML full or plain text, etc. In our case, we have only field text, which is not formatted, so we can delete format property and just work with the value property. Okay, so let's repeat. In Drupal 8, we have field events to which values from field news from Drupal 7 should be put. And let's save this. Okay, uh, we go to console, uh, run drush config import, uh, import staging. Okay. After each manipulation in configuration files, we should run config import to have actual version of this configuration in the active config storage. So let's say yes. Okay, looks good. Let's check our migration studies. Let's type drush ms. Enter. Um, now we can see two migrations for users and for nodes of type basic page. As you can see, for node migration we have zero, as we don't have any nodes for Drupal 7 sites. So let's create one node on Drupal 7. Uh, let's try to create it together, content and basic, basic page. Like one, 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 and here, and news in the field news, and save. Okay. Um, 
let's go again to console check our migration status mm -hmm. okay we have one node which is waiting to be migrated so let's type drush migrate import and name uh, name of our migration um, mm -hmm. so one node is created let's go to Drupal 8 and check this node Drupal content oh this node uh, let's open uh -huh. now we see that field events has value news so it works great what else we can do uh, maybe let's try to use some default plugin to manipulate values in the field by default we already have rather useful plugins so it will be cool if you will read the documentation about each plugin um, and then you can easily understand which plugin to use in different use cases so um, and the link to the documentation will be in description to this video um, as an example we will use plugin static map a uh, static map gives you possibility to map field values as you wish between source and destination. So if we see that field value is in use in Drupal 7, we will set field value to events on Drupal 8. So we will replace value uh, with the configurations which we have saved before to save you time. So plugin is static map, uh, source value field, and map if source is news then replace it with events and save good uh, we go to console next and let's uh, rerun config import because we have changed configuration file um, mm -hmm. like that okay now let's go to drupal 7 node um, check what value do we have right now okay it's news right exactly what we need let's go again to console and run uh, drush migrate import but now with flag update uh, because this node already exists on Drupal 8 site okay uh, one node was updated let's go to Drupal 8 uh, Yes, it works. Great. So seems it works correctly because in Drupal 7 this field has a use value and on Drupal 8 it has events. It works like we want. As you can see, such plugins can be very useful. So check once again what plugins do we have by default. In next video, we will try to create our own custom plugin for manipulation field data. If you are interested in these topics, please click subscribe, write your questions and comments and like our videos. So thanks for watching. Bye.